what's up guys today's sunday um let me show you guys the truck that they brought me yesterday it's pretty 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 messed up um i know i have to redo the notch and just do an underbed notch it has a block on top of the saddle where the saddle should sit and then the u-bolts are there so i have no idea what kind of flip kit it has um so the flip kit is yeah it's gonna have to get replaced yeah there, there's there's no saddle on there let me see if i can zoom in <laughs> there is absolutely no saddle it's literally the flip kit the block and it's just there chilling those shocks uh i guess they're air shocks or shock extenders thank god they didn't weld them um that notch horrible horrible notch <laughs> I'll probably have a hard time <laughs> cutting that crap out. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. This, this thing's bad. And then the front. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started on the front. So what they did, they threw the strut on the bottom, and then they cut the springs. If, if you guys don't have money to drop these newer trucks, like 07 to 13, even the 14 to 18s, don't, don't hack them up, man. Like you cannot cut those springs because as soon as you do um there's not enough i guess cushioning and it, it'll, it'll snap the the rod on the on the strut and like it'll bend it and it'll just ride like shit um there's other affordable ways to do this you can buy the drop cups from mcgoy i know they have them and that will drop your shit and you know there's also drop springs for these trucks they're like 200 250 bucks there's drop spindles there, you know there's a lot of parts out there for you to be hacking this up so what we're gonna be doing we're gonna do the ihc six inch arms i already ordered them um some new ac delco struts and then i need to hunt down those springs and that's basically gonna give him the six inch drop in the front and then as far as the back well he's gonna get a nine so I need to fix that flip kit situation he has do the notch and see what else i can do to it but yeah that's that's what we got going on today then also ordered parts for that one they should be here tuesday as long along with the red one i need to start taking that one apart probably been here like a whole week but i can't even do anything to it but take it apart and we've been really busy so we're gonna start on that and i'll probably start tearing both of them apart today if not just the big one but the parts come in Tuesday, so that way I can get the ball rolling. And then we'll see what we can do today. But probably attack both of them. Alright, so I got the bed off. Boom. Uh, I used my engine hoist and took off the bumper for more clearance. This notch was pretty much getting ready to fail. They didn't weld the back portion of it. And they took out a good chunk of it. If you can see it right there that's a lot so what tends to happen is the frame you know tends to crack and then that's whenever you see the beds kind of like touching the cabs like real close that's basically a bent frame so what we're gonna do we're gonna uh basically cut this notch out uh put some post on the sides so the frame doesn't like buckle or whatever right now whenever i'm cutting it up and um yeah, I can already feel it right here. Anyways, yeah, cut out that notch and then put the other one on and then fully weld it on there. And uh, take care of this flip kit. That's not really a flip kit. And then we're also going to do drop shackles. And then I'll check the clearance. He has a two-piece drive shaft, so there shouldn't be any rubbing issues. But just to make sure, I might have to notch one of these uh, braces. But other than that, we're ready to go. going to cut these notches out, well, clean the frame really good, and then prep the other ones and just start welding them in there. That one, that one's pretty bad too. You can't really see it. There you go. But yeah. We'll see what happens right now. Hopefully, I don't have any more surprises with this truck. So, guys, so I got the new underbed notch welded fully welded i just gotta cut the inside portion of it out and uh, weld the filler plates in the good thing about that crappy notch they had on the truck is the fact that i didn't have such a hard time cutting it out because the back of the portion wasn't welded i think it was somebody else's notch because there's like an old weld here 
Yeah, it's all rusted up, so you probably got that C-notch from somebody else. And then um, <clears throat> I'm just going to cut the other side out and put the new one on and finish this one up before I move on to the other side. Replace the flip kit and do drop shackles and I'll be done with the back for today. And then I'll probably start tearing it apart the front just to have it ready. That way when the new struts come in, boom, I just put it together and she's ready to go home. Well guys, I got the passenger side done. Everything's nice and welded, cut out and boxed in. Uh, literally the only thing that's left is let it cool off and just paint it and then clean it up before you paint it and just swap the flip kit. Uh, you guys already know how to do that by now. If y'all been watching the videos. So I'ma uh, pretty much call it a night. Uh, it's barely about to be like six, but it's been getting dark really early. And then tomorrow, I'll just cut that brace off the bed, and uh, I'll tear up the front whenever I get to it. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, like, subscribe, drop a comment. Leave me some uh, suggestions of what y'all want to watch next, or what kind of builds y'all want to see. Sometimes I get really busy, so I really don't get a chance to record, because if I'm recording, it's going to take me a little bit longer to finish the job. So. Whenever I do have time, that's whenever I'm recording and showing you guys what, what we got going on. But yeah, uh, drop a comment, like, subscribe, whatever. If you need to reach us, uh, hit me up on Instagram, Orlando underscore 2010. Or uh, you could shoot me a message at 